Welcome fellow recovering traditionalists to episode 206, 1% better, the four minute daily math difference. My husband and I listen to all kinds of podcasts and for years we have listened to 1% better, but it wasn't until he was listening to a baseball podcast that we really thought about what 1% better really entails. And then I started to think about what 1% better could look like in your classroom. Welcome to Build Math Minds, the podcast, where fidelity to your students is greater than fidelity to your textbook. I'm your host, Christina Tonnevold, the recovering traditionalist and buildmathminds.com founder, where my mission is to change the way we teach elementary math to our kiddos. So are you ready to start building math minds and not just creating calculators? Let's get started. If you've been around a while, you may know my husband is the head high school baseball coach in our town, and each year he likes to give his players a phrase to focus on. And recently, he has been telling me all about what this year's is going to be. I'm pretty sure I'm not spoiling anything because I doubt any of his players listen to my podcast, but this year's phrase is 1424. As I said, we've listened to the 1% Better podcast for years, And when he was listening to Zach Sorensen, who is a mental performance coach for the Cincinnati Reds on the ABCA, which is American Baseball Coaches Association podcast, Zach talked about using 1424 with his players. Well, when you calculate out what 1% of a 24 hour day is, it comes out to be 14 minutes and 24 seconds. Thus, 14 24. So by focusing on doing something that you are working on getting better at, knowing that it's just 14 minutes and 24 seconds makes it seem doable each and every day. Now, my husband has been talking about this for months since he heard the podcast episode with Zach, but it was just recently it started churning around in my brain about what that could look like for educators. So let's do the math. An average school day in the US is around six and a half hours. If yours is longer or shorter, you could do the math for yours. But for a six and a half hour school day, that is 39 minutes. Okay, I just had to hop in and interrupt because maybe you were like me and you didn't notice, but I'm sure there are some of you who did notice. I just said the wrong amount. I said 39 minutes and it should be 390 minutes. A six and a half hour school day is 390 minutes, Christina, not 39. And I do the math correctly on the 1%, but I, and I did the math correctly. I just spoke wrong. When I was doing the podcast, I had the 39 and just kind of ignored the zero. So I apologize, but wanted to make sure you knew the correct amount and that I knew the correct amount. Okay, back with the podcast. 1% of that is 3.9 minutes, which is really 3 minutes and 54 seconds. In math, whenever I can, I like to use friendly numbers. So let's just call that 4 minutes, shall we? If you're trying to work on something or just get better at something in the classroom, help your students get better at something, it can often feel overwhelming to think about this massive undertaking. Instead, focus on just getting 1% better every day. So if you are wanting to change up what you're doing in math class, let's say, and just change up 1% of your school day, well, it's just four minutes of your day. And really, you can do four minutes at any time. It doesn't have to be just during your math time, but it could be. For example, you could start each day with a four minute number talk, or end with a quick which one doesn't belong activity, or have students do a brief math journal reflection. Now, I know what you're thinking. I don't have four extra minutes, but remember, this isn't just about adding time. It's about intentionally shifting how you are using the minutes you already have. 
take a look at your day tomorrow and see if you notice just a few minutes of downtime throughout the day. If so, pull out a 1% better math experience. Well, what are 1% better math experiences? I've put together a 1% better guide that gives you 30 ideas for math experiences that you can provide your students that take less than five minutes and it's yours for free. I am currently working on creating a supplemental resource for every grade level that is $18, but it has 180 slides of five minute or less experiences tailored to every specific grade level. But those aren't quite ready yet. So for now, you can use the guide with the general examples. Now here's the thing. A lot of the activities on the list could potentially take more than five minutes, if you let it. So be intentional and focus on keeping it within the kind time constraint. Go to buildmathminds.com slash 1%. And that is the digit one and the percent sign. So that will give you the option to put in your email address and everything to get the free 1% better guide. It'll be emailed to you right away. If you have any troubles, make sure you reach out to us at info at buildmathminds.com. A lot of schools like send stuff to spam so easily nowadays. So if you don't get it, don't be afraid to reach out to us. So I'll also link up the website at the show notes page, which is buildmathminds.com slash 206, which is our episode number. So to help you see the power in those four minutes before we take off for today, let's take a look at the math. Four minutes a day for 180 days is 720 minutes. That's 12 hours. 12 hours of time that your students get that focus on building their foundation of math understanding or even just practicing something that they are working at building their fluency on. You can do that during those four minutes. And then next year, find another four minutes to change up and make it 1% better again. Don't feel like you need to change everything all at once. Make a small change, four minutes of your day with your students and help them experience math just 1% differently than before. And it doesn't matter if you're hearing this at the beginning of the school year or towards the end, it's never too late to get 1% better. Until next week, my fellow recovering traditionalists, keep letting your students explore math, keep questioning, and most importantly, keep building math minds. <laughs>